For over 40 years, his music has pulsed through the veins of Israeli and international audiences. Guitarist, singer, and songwriter David Broza's first song, It'll Be All Right, even attracted the likes of Jackson Brown and Sean Colvin to Masada in Israel's Negev Desert. My connection with Israel is, uh, is, is, the, is the same as connection to the blood in my veins. It's part of my DNA, it's me. And my mother was Israel's first folk singer. You know, my grandparents and great-grandparents moved to Palestine back in the late 1800s. Broza has been living in New York City during the corona pandemic during a low note in the Israeli music industry, which has silenced close to 200,000 people. They're paying from month to month, check to check. Uh, and now everything. It was the first industry to shut down. It's going to be the last to open up. It's not seen as critical, so no one's thinking food and medicine, so it's getting neglected. Israeli cybersecurity pioneer Marius Nacht and his wife, lawyer and activist Inbar Nacht, have raised the bar big time. With the direction of CEO Nachman Rosenberg, the Nacht Family Foundation donated nearly $4 million to create Saab Hasha'a, which means call to action. <laughs> Music is, I think, what gives Israel its soul, both on a national level and on an individual level. Nationally, there is no Israeli state without Israeli culture, and there's no Israeli culture without Israeli music. As part of a multi-tiered venture philanthropy initiative, 80 Israeli artists, in cooperation with 700 musicians, have remastered 50 classic Israeli songs into an album and digital media campaign. They also got personal Rosh Hashanah Happy New Year grants straight into their bank accounts just to help them you know, pay for groceries. <laughs> David Broza got to collaborate for the first time with longtime friend and fellow singer Yasmin Levy. This was coming, right? This is Michelle. You know, you're thinking, if it's ever going to come, it's now. And so, of course, she recorded in Tel Aviv, and I recorded in, in somewhere in Brooklyn. who spent his teen years in Madrid is known for playing flamenco and Spanish guitar. But recently, for the first time ever, he released a new instrumental album called En Casa Limón that he recorded in Spain. And in addition to being on call to help infuse Israel's music industry, David Broza is also pulling some strings to strike a chord with underprivileged youth from all over the world as part of his own nonprofit called One Million Guitars. I concentrate on fourth and fifth graders, and they, if they, if they stay with the, with the classes for two years, they get to keep the guitars for life. But I think an instrument or any form of art Con connects directly with your soul, with your personality, and helps you bring it out and excel within yourself. Emily Francis, I-24 News. We'll